गुड मॉर्निंग टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द नेक्स्ट एक्सरसाइज एक्सरसाइज एट डी एक्सरसाइज एट डी राइट ऑफ द ट्रिग्नोमेटिकल फंक्शन इन दिस एक्सरसाइज वी विल हैव क्वेश्चन बेस्ड ऑन एलाइड एंगल्स एलाइड एंगल्स इज दिस ओके हियर आई हैव दिस टीचिंग एड्स फॉर यू to explain you about what is the allied what are the different allied angles but before we go to the allied angle we will come to the sign convention the sign rule of trigonometrical ratio this thing i have already explained you in the previous video but i thought since it is directly connected to this one so once again i can give you a the quick summary of the sign rule for the trigonometrical ratio this board is a plane right this board is a plane and in this plane i have drawn the horizontal axis and then the vertical axis if you remember i told you the name of the horizontal axis it is called as abscissa and the vertical axis is called as the ordinate ordinate and together abscissa and ordinate is called as coordinate these two lines are used as the reference lines to give the exact location of a point that is the benefit of using this reference lines is this very clear now uh, on in this in the line we have this point of intersection of the two coordinate two axis this point of intersection of the two axis is called as origin where the value of x axis abscissa as well as the ordinate both are zero and all the counting starts from this point all the counting starts originates from this point that is why this point is called as the origin so towards the right side on the horizontal axis is positive value towards the left side of this origin uh, left side is the negative value above is positive value and down is negative value we already know this this you are already familiar with this is it okay and then last time i told you i showed you the triangles in each quadrant right if the triangle if a right angle triangle is drawn in this then this two sides can be used as the reference line to describe the length of the two side the base and the high, uh, and the perpendicular and the base and the perpendicular both will be positive that means p and b both will be positive that is why all the trigonometrical ratios when the triangle is drawn in this coordinate or the ratio all the trigonometrical ratios will be positive that is why i wrote here as all all means all the trigonometrical ratios in the first quadrant will be positive is this very clear likewise i explain you in the second quadrant sin will be positive whereas all will be negative here tan theta will be positive whereas all will be negative and in the fourth quadrant only the cos theta will be positive and the rest will be all negative right i will tell you here in the second quadrant because sin theta is positive that means its reciprocal also will have to be positive and the reciprocal of sin theta is cosec theta that means not only the sin theta even the cosec theta also will be positive likewise here the tan theta along with tan theta cot theta also will be positive and here in the fourth quadrant with cos theta sec theta also will be positive so this we have to remember very very carefully clear also you know that when you start counting the angle in the clock anti clockwise direction this is zero right this is zero degree and at this point when you reach it is 90 degree angle at this point when you reach it is 180 degree angle is it okay at this point when you reach it is 270 degree angle this is 270 degree angle and again you back to this point this will be 360 degree so you can say 0 degree or 360 degree this point is when you complete it one circle it will be taken as 360 degree angle otherwise this will be this point will be taken as 0 degree is this very clear now the angle of the different trigonometrical ratios can be within any range can be within this range can be within this range can be within this range or can be within this range right and th these ranges are called as the allied angle is this very clear well understood so the angles that we will have here is uh, we will calculate the value of the trigonometrical ratios in terms of this many angles in terms of this many angles so first of all we are trying to understand this angle is it okay this is minus theta This is ninety minus theta. This is ninety plus theta. This is one eighty minus theta. This is one eighty plus theta. This is two n pi minus theta. Two n pi means what? Two pi means one eighty. Pi means 
180 and 2n right that means multiple of n even multiple so this becomes 360 this is 360 then this is also 360 this is okay 2n minus pi is 360 2 min 2n minus pi 2n min 2n pi is 360 2n pi is 360 okay now where will be this angle minus theta minus theta means less than theta theta is taken as the starting right zero degree theta is taken as zero degree is it all right so that means you are theta minus means it will be in the fourth quadrant minus theta will be please remember that it will go in the fourth quadrant and in the fourth quadrant what will be positive is only cos this angle please remember the location of this angle is fourth quadrant and in the fourth quadrant only the cos theta is positive therefore when we will have sine minus theta right it will become negative cos minus theta not theta cos minus theta it will be cos theta this is remaining positive is this clear and here this also will become negative because this this angle is in the fourth quadrant and in the fourth quadrant only the cos theta will be positive the rest will be all negative that is why the cos theta is positive and remaining all are negative is it okay now uh, again we have so many angles right one two three four five six seven total seven angles right please remember out of this total seven angle these two angles are little different 90 minus theta and 90 plus theta is a little different because result of this 90 minus theta and 90 plus theta is a little different remaining all are similar is it okay so i will tell you what is the difference and what is the similarity in the rest all if your angle is in terms of 90 minus theta or 90 plus theta if when the angle is 90 minus theta or 90 plus theta then your trigonometrical ratio will change how it will change sine will become cos cos will become sine tan will become cot cot will become tan sec will become cosec and cosec will become sec so th this change you have to remember sine changes to cos cos changes to sine right tan changes to cot cot changes to tan sec changes to cosec and cosec changes to sec how see now if i have sine 90 minus theta just connect this one with this one so if it is if this is sine 90 minus theta that means your result will become since it is, the angle is 90 minus theta and the trigonometric ratio you are using is sine theta so this will immediately change to cos theta sine we will see later on okay just now i'm only talking to you about the changes sine 90 minus theta will become sine 90 cos theta is it okay so if it is if the angles are 90 minus theta or 90 plus theta in that case the trigonometric ratios are changing sine i will tell you later on okay so sine 90 minus theta is cos theta sine 90 plus theta is cos theta right so sine changes to cos can you see this the cos changes to sine right tan changes to cot is it okay and, but in the remaining all this remains same sine remaining sine 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 no changes cos remaining cos 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 right tan becomes tan remains tan 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 so that there, the change in the trigonometric ratio takes place only when the angle is 90 minus theta 90 plus theta after this now i will tell you about the sine change right where the sine remains positive and sine remains negative now i will tell you about the sine now i will tell you about the sine for the sine what we have to do is we need to understand that where is the location of this angle if you can understand the location of this angle your sine problem is over right now look here 90 minus theta that means it is less than 90 less than 90 means it is in the first quadrant 90 minus theta stands for the first quadrant right and in the first quadrant all the trigonometrical ratios are positive are you getting me and that is why you can notice here uh, the trigonometrical ratios have changed but 
all are remaining positive. The positive with positive. Sign is not changing. Sign will not change. Positive, if it is positive, it will remain positive. If this is negative, it will remain negative. Is it okay? So this is because it is it is, comes in the first quadrant, and in the first quadrant, all are positive. That is why all these are positive. Now this is 90 plus theta. That means up to here you are 90. This is 90, right? And it is 90 plus theta. That means you have something more than 90, right? So then as soon as you say you go little beyond more than 90, it comes in the second quadrant. As soon as you enter in the second quadrant, you know that now only the sign or its reciprocal cosec will remain positive, right? The rest all will become negative. Therefore, you can see here when the angle is 90 plus theta, right? Here sine theta has to be positive. That is why this is remaining positive and the rest all became negative. Is it okay? Now this is 180 minus theta. 180 minus theta. That means, again, 180 minus theta. That means you are separating something from 180. So the minute you separate anything from 180, it comes back into the second quadrant. So this is second quadrant and this also is second quadrant. Are you getting it? This is second quadrant. This also is second quadrant. The angle appears to be different. But then, ultimately, the, the quadrant is same. These two, are, these two angles are lying in the same quadrant. That means here again the sine theta only will remain positive and therefore you can notice here 180 minus theta sine theta only remains positive and this all becomes negative. So the sign changes for the other trigonometrical ratios but not for sine. Now 180 plus theta. 180 plus theta that means 180 plus theta more than 180. 180 right. This is third quadrant. This is third quadrant. 180 plus theta. Is it okay? Now, this 180 plus theta means what? It is the third quadrant and in the third quadrant what is positive is only the 10 theta. So, look here, only the 10 theta remains positive, remaining all is, remaining all is negative. Is it okay? So, 10 theta will be positive and rest all will be negative. Is it alright? Now, this 360 minus theta, 360 minus theta, I can write this as 360 minus theta also. So 360 minus theta means it will come back into the fourth quadrant. It is less than 360, 360 minus theta. So it will be in the fourth quadrant and in the fourth quadrant only the cos is positive. So here that is why the cos is positive and the rest is all negative. Is it okay? And this is 360 plus theta. That means again it, went, came, it came to the first quadrant. This is 360 plus theta, that means it is again first quadrant. Right, so that is why here everything is positive. So this is the one thing which you have to spend some time, some two to three minute time you can spend, and then please take care of all this angle and then link this with the quadrants. If you are able to link it correctly, then you will not have any problem with the sign. Number one, number two is also you have to remember that on the trigonometrical ratio will change only when the angle is 90 minus theta and 90 plus theta. For other all the angle, the trigonometrical ratios will remain same. Is it well understood? Uh, with this, I will show you some example. Sine 194. Sine 194. Question number 1A. How interesting question you can see here. Sine 194. Is this very clear? Now, the given angle you have to split in any one of these form. In terms of 90 minus plus theta or 180 minus plus theta or 360 minus plus theta. You have to break this angle in terms of any. Is it alright? Second thing is when you are breaking this angle, when you are breaking this angle, uh, please make sure that as far as possible, always it is not possible, but as far as possible, try to keep this angle theta as acute angle. If possible, sometimes it is unavoidable, you can't do that. So if we can't do, then also there is a solution, right? But as far as possible, we will try to, first of all, uh, try, try to always keep this angle theta as an acute angle. So you break this angle in such a way, so that you can get this angle in terms of any one of these formats. Is it okay? So I will show you this. This 194 sine 194. Can I write this as 180 plus 14? Can I write it like this? Is there any harm? Did I make any change in the question? No. 
just I try to write this 194 a, a, as, a, as a sum of two numbers. So, numerically, there is no disturbance in the question, it is the same. But, I am going to get the result. Now, this is 180 plus theta. 180 plus theta. 180 plus theta, that means it will come in the third quadrant. Is this okay? In the third quadrant, only the tan will be positive. That means this is this sign is going to change. And I told you that the trigonometrical ratio will change only when the angle is 90 minus theta, 90 plus theta. But here it is 180 plus theta. So this trigonometrical ratio will not change and it remains as it is. So it will become sine theta and theta is what? 14. So sine 14 degree. Is this okay? And it was in the third quadrant and third quadrant only the tan remains positive. Therefore the sine of this one will change. And because it was positive, no sign is positive, therefore this sign will become negative. This is your solution. Is it alright? Another question B. Sign 348. Sign 348. Sign 348 degree. Now, you have to give me your thought. How will you break this 348 so that you can have angle in terms of any one of this? Just try to check that this is closer to which one of this? Which one of the angle? Is it close to 90 or close to 180 or close to 360? This is close to which of this angle? You select one. You will get your answer. This angle is very close to 360. But it is less than 360. Right? So I can take help of that 360 minus sine 360 but it is not 360 it is 348 so you have to keep the same value so how much do I subtract from here so that I get 348 it is 12 is this okay now this quotient came into the form of 360 minus theta that is 2 and pi minus theta is it alright so now uh, this is the trigonometrical ratio will remain same. So let me first of all write the magnitude sine 12 degree. This is 360 minus theta. 360 minus theta means fourth quadrant. Fourth quadrant only the cos will be positive. And this is sine. That means the sine of this will also change. And this is your answer. Now we are looking into question number 1D. 1D. For some time I will keep this uh, material for you so that it will be easy to. Uh, solve this question. I am just trying to show you the benefit of having the formula in front of you so that it becomes very easy. Now, how do I see this question? When I match it with the allied angles, I can match this here because my theta is negative. So I can connect this angle with this minus theta. Is this okay? Minus theta. This minus theta is, I, I, what I told you, it is in the fourth quadrant. And in the fourth quadrant, only the cos will be positive. Is this okay? So, this is going to be negative. This is going to be negative. So, this is minus sine. You can see here, simply the minus sign from the bracket from this will come out. So, sine and then theta. Theta is your 1785. Is this okay? Next step now, I am going to break this angle in terms of any one of this. So, I have to see that this is closer to which one of this? We have angle 90 minus, 90 minus plus, 180 minus plus, and then 360 minus plus. And this is very far from any one of this angle. Isn't it? That means we have to take the help of 360 minus plus theta. 360 either minus theta or 360 plus theta. So it depends on like this is close to which one. Which we can use any one of the two. So to see that how many multiples of 360 will able to solve our problem. Okay? We can do some rough calculation. We can simply divide this by 360. Is it okay? So when you divide this by 360, or you can take the fifth multiple of 360, multiple of three, multi, fifth multiple of 360 will be 1800. Wow. This is a very good solution. Because I got the fifth multiple of 360 as 1800 and that 1800 is very very close to this 1785. Right? So, I can rewrite this angle as minus sine fifth multiple of 360 fifth multiple of 360 
right? This gives me 1800 and this is 1785. So from 1800, how much I subtract so that I get 1785? It is 15. If I subtract 15 from 1800, I will get 1785. So my purpose is solved. So this is 360 minus, we will go to this column. Here the trigonometrical ratios remain same. First of all, I will only think of the magnitude. This minus sign is as it is. Then I will write sine of 15 degree. Right. And it is because in the fourth quadrant. And in the fourth quadrant, only the cos will remain positive. And this is sine. Therefore, the, this sine of this sine will change. It was negative. When you change the sine, it becomes positive. Uh, let us see one more question. Right. This is one more question. Uh, cot minus theta. Cot minus theta. That means we are coming into this following. Cot minus theta. Right. Cot minus theta. What I told you that this angle will go in the fourth quadrant. Right. And fourth quadrant only the cos will be positive. Cos of sine sec will be positive. That means this also is going to be negative. This is going to be negative. So uh, same like this 10 minus theta will become minus 10 theta. So this will become first of all minus minus cot 1952 degree right now we have to split this angle in terms of any one of this this angle is very big obviously this will go in terms of uh, 360 minus theta or 360 plus theta okay so how many multiple of 360 360 uh, 5 is 1800 right so 6 times it will go very high so we will keep it close to fifth multiple minus cot 360 minus now 360 sorry 360 into fifth multiple I said fifth multiple of 360 it gives you 1800 it gives you 1800 and this is 1952 that means I need to add 152 degree is this okay now uh, in the beginning what I told you is when you split the given angle you have to make sure that you try to keep this theta angle as the acute angle but there are situations where it is unavoidable and you can't do you can't make it as acute angle so this is that question where you have broken this angle into two part in terms of multiple of 360 plus or minus but your angle this is not coming as acute angle you know what is acute angle less than 90 degree but it has come 152 degree so this is unavoidable situation this is a special case so when we have such kind of case where you are not getting the acute angle how can we do i am going to show you in this question is this very clear so it is first of all we will just adopt the same 360 plus theta 360 plus theta that means it is going to the fourth quadrant right I just see this as acute angle for the time being I just see this as acute angle though it is not acute angle so I assume if I have angle in terms of 360 plus theta any theta then I will take it in the first quadrant so when I take it in the first quadrant it remains positive that means there will be no change in the sign so therefore this will remain as it is minus cot there will be no change in the sign it was negative it will remain negative and this is equal to 152 theta cot theta is this very clear now in this kind of situation you will have to do the double work that means once again you have to split this the way you have splitted this one is this okay so now we can split this as this is splitting will be easy this is 90 plus 62 degree am i clear or not this is 90 plus 62 because the sum of these two is 152 so we can now change this now you see here, the, your angle is in terms of 90 plus theta. 90 plus theta, that means the trigonometrical ratio will change. So first of all, I am only writing the magnitude. I am not worried about the sign. So let me continue with the same sign. This cot will change into 10. And this will be 62 degree. Right? This is 90 plus theta. That means it came to the second quadrant. Second quadrant, only sign is positive. That means other all the trigonometrical ratio sign will change. And therefore, the sign of this also will change. So finally, from negative, this will become to positive. And this is your final answer now we are moving on to question number two this question number two is find the value of the given trigonometrical ratio without using table actually this question is not applicable to us because we are not using we are not using the table only in our syllabus in our curriculum we don't have the value table in our textbook also we don't have the value table 
and neither we have a separate textbook for the trigonometrical values, value of the trigonometrical ratios, right? So we have, we can solve only those questions whose value is already known to us. So we are going to find the value of this trigonometrical ratio without using any value table by just remembering the value of the five trigonometrical ratios, uh, the trigonometrical ratios for five different angles. That is 0 degree, 30 degree, 60 degree, 45 degree, 60 degree and 90 degree. So we will use that concept. So by splitting this angle, we can split this as sine 90 plus 30 degree. Is it okay? Now you know that the trigonometrical ratio will change. So sine will become cos 30 degree. Now we will see the sine. This is 90 plus theta. 90 plus theta means it will go in the second quadrant. Second quadrant only the sine is positive and this is sine. So it will remain positive. Understood? Now we, we know the value cos at 30 degree. The value is root 3 over 2. So the answer is root 3 over 2. Uh, I will suggest you for these questions, for these questions, please do not use calculator because when you use the calculator, you will never get the answer in this fractional form. You will get your answer always in decimal and the decimal answer is not allowed. So by mistake also, if you have used the calculator for such questions, your marks will be zero. Now the next question we have is question number B, cot 330. Cot 330 degree right this angle we can split it as cos uh, cot of 360 minus 30 can we write this 330 as 360 minus 30 fine now the trigonometrical ratio i told you only the trigonometrical ratio will change for 90 minus or 90 plus for the rest it will remain same so i am writing this value as cot 30 degree right now we have to think of the sign 360 minus 30, that means it will go in the fourth quadrant. And fourth quadrant, what is positive is cos. Cos and it's a reciprocal sec. And this is cot. Therefore, the sign of this will change. So this is cot 30. Now we have to write the value of cot 30. Cot for cot 30 value, cot, cot 30 value, we will think of 10 30. 10 30 is 1 over root 3. Right? And this is the reciprocal. So we will write the reciprocal of that one. So 1 over root 3 reciprocal is root 3 over 1. That means the value is root. 3. Is it understood? Then let us see uh, D. Cos 315. Numbers D. Cos 315 degree. Cos 315 degree. Right? Once again we will split this angle also. Now you have, now you will start understanding. So cos 315 we can write as 360 minus 45 minus 45 degree. Is it okay? 360 minus theta that means the trigonometrical ratio will remain same. So it is cos 45 degree. Right? And which quadrant is this? This is in the fourth quadrant and fourth quadrant cos is positive. That is why the sign will remain same. When, when you say positive that means the sign will not change. Positive will remain positive. And also Cos root for cos 45 value is 1 over root 2. Is it understood? Uh, we'll see one more question. Number E. This is cos cosec cosec 3 uh, 675. 675 degree. Is it okay? So uh, when we split the angle, as far as possible, we'll try to keep it as acute angle. If it is possible, then. If not, then we can do it in two steps. So, this is 360 plus, if we write, it will become very big angle. Right? So, 360 multiple of 360, second multiple of 360 is 720. And this is 720 is more closer to this one. So, we can write this as cosec 2 into 2 into 360. This will give you 720. So 720 minus how much? will give you this. It will be 45. Is it okay? So finally we can write this as cosec 45 degree. Right. This is now fourth quadrant. Fourth quadrant only 
the cos of the sec will be positive. So the sign of this will change. So this is minus cosec. And finally the answer of this one will be cosec 45 means this is the reciprocal of sine. Sine 45 is 1 over root 2. So the value of this one will be root 2 with minus sine. Is this very clear? So with this we are ending today. Right? Thank you so much. Keep watching. Have a nice day. Take care. Please stay at home. Thank you.